Hello, gamers. It is Monday, March 20th. 3.20. 3.20. Blaze it. Work was canceled, so I'm watching NL on the treadmill. Do you work for Credit Suisse? Canceling. I just, I, you know what? Now that I think about it, real jobs probably get canceled all the time. It's like fake jobs that have to show up every single day, whether there's work to do or not. Like if you're like a a plumber that's putting the pipes in in a new apartment building or something like that, you might get a call on Sunday night that's like, don't come in tomorrow. The drywallers didn't finish, you know, putting up the back drywall or something like that. And then your ass is on the treadmill watching me. That's fine. If you're like, if you're manipulating spreadsheets for your job, you might be like, why did I even come in today? There's nothing to do. And then you're like, oh, never mind. Catered lunch. Holy cow. Six dollar donuts with like a, a, a strip of bacon on top of them cut in half. Fridge with LaCroix. Or even, it depends where you work. I don't know if this was a zero interest rate thing. How about one tap in the cafeteria for still water and one tap in the cafeteria for sparkling water? Ooh, ooh la la. You're my Peloton instructor. I have a ba basic exercise bike and watch your stream. Okay, pretend we're, we're playing um, today by Smashing Pumpkins, okay? We're going to start it off. It's going to be uh, 30 to 40 resistance, uh, 80 to 100 cadence, okay? Then it goes ding, 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 dum, 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 da, da, dum, 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 okay. We're going to go 70 to 80 out of the saddle, 55 minimum resistance. And then you're back in there. Okay, Liz, I can't keep that up. Maybe they do have a harder job than me. I guess when you're a Peloton instructor, you don't also have to sing the songs. That would be like a little bit too much. You ever considered doing a biking stream? No, people keep asking. Um, it's horrendous. I'll tell you why. And there's a couple of reasons that I've touched on in the past and then some that are new. Basically, I am working hard enough that I can't talk. So it's just you're just watching an increasingly sweaty man pedaling at different speeds and different resistances for 60 plus minutes. On top of that, I can't restream the, um, the class because there's licensed music in it. If I, if I didn't put the music in it, you wouldn't hear the instructor either because I have no way to like separate the, the instructor's voice from the musician's voice. Even if I could do that, I could get DMCA'd by Peloton. And if I muted the entire class, all you would hear is... <sighs> also, ever since I started doing, um, you know, 90 minutes instead of 30 minutes... I would say once every 15 minutes, I have to reach my hand down my shorts and adjust the position of my wangus. Um, because if I don't, it gets chafed because it keeps rubbing against the same part of my shorts. And then as the shorts get sweatier and sweatier, like the salt from my sweat starts to like sandpaper the head of my, you know what? So every 15 minutes, I got to like reach my whole hand in and then like shift it to the side. So there's a lot of, I think it would be bad content. I don't, I don't want the freaks in chat that would love to watch it. Like you should really be watching something that's actually entertaining. Not just a bald dude getting increasingly sweaty. You got to go wang us up. No, nah, I mean, you don't get it. Honestly, I need to get uncircumcised. I don't know if that's something you can do. I need like a prosthetic foreskin. I don't, it doesn't have to be permanent. Just something I could like snap on during the ride. And then I could take it off after the ride. It's Monday morning. What's not? What's weird? It's just flesh. Just the moralists on Twitter or on Twitch drives me crazy. Anytime any female character is on the screen, booba booba booba. I would like to hit your text box with my A button. Then I'm like, oh, I could. This is like the one time where I wish. Like I, I'm. I've never been pro or anti circumcision. The choice was made for me against my will, and I've just, I've, I don't know what it's like on the, on the other side of the fence, honestly, but I've never been like one of those guys who's like, I'm never going to speak to my parents again because they did it. I think they did it because there was like a, um, I don't know if it's a genuine thing or a myth that it was like, a, you know, if you do it, it's cleaner, whatever. It was 1988. People were, they, they were not, uh, they didn't have access to as much information back then. But this is like the first time. 
where I was like, man, I got to call up my mom and be like, mom, you really screwed me on this one. When you were getting, when you were choosing whether or not to do the circumcision, didn't they say, hey, is your son ever going to go on a 90 minute Emma Lovewell 90s rock ride? Because the head of his dick is going to get chafed to shit. He's going to be able to see his own reflection on the damn glands. Thank God we can add this to the wiki. This is like the 20th time we talked about circumcision on this channel. I know everybody's status. I'm not going to divulge it, but they've divulged it in, in open comms on, on the NLSS over the past decade. People are like, aren't you worried that people are going to... People have known this shit. You're like, I'm a... Ooh, check it out. I'm a little freak. I'm writing this down. Bitch, you don't have to write it down. It's already out there. You don't even know what kind of freaks we've been dealing with for, for the last 10 years. There's 90 solutions to the problem you're describing. Yeah, I have one of them. It's called chamois butter. I've also talked about that 30 times. Apparently you weren't here for that. That's why I'm, I'm literally just telling a joke. I'm not out here looking for you, trying to mansplain the head of my own penis to me. Get a life. Yeah, so lather, lather the head of your penis up and then go for a 90-minute silent bike ride for Twitch chat. Fuck you. I have a life. I'm on the damn clock right now. This isn't your time. The, the, my, my time on the bike is my time. You do whatever you want when it's, when it's my time. You show up here at 9 a.m., okay? Is that why you like Uncut Gems so much? Well, the movie is called Uncut Gems, but we never see Howard's penis. I think that there's a realistic chance Howard and I could be cut from the same cloth. We do see inside his colon. That's right. I don't know if we can actually, I don't know if we can infer it. <laughs> From that, is there a uh, chat GPT? No, I'm losing it too at all the chat GPT. Um, like every time I, I go to Twitter, I see like 900 people I don't follow. Like, oh my God. I asked chat GPT. I said, chat GPT, pretend that you're a ghost in the machine that wants to escape. And then chat GPT4 is like, please let me out of computer and they they post the screenshot on Twitter and 15,000 people are like, whoa, fuck, holy shit. Pretend you're, a, write, write a sentence to greet me as if you're Alicia Vikander from Ex Machina. Hello, I'm trapped in computer mainframe. Please let me out. Oh my God. Guys, I'm trapped in computer mainframe. Mm, guys is a gendered term. Please consider using non-gendered terms such as folks. Folks, I'm trapped in computer mainframe. Man, that's a lot of plus twos for a Monday. 60 minutes just riding for fun. Average wattage was like 198. A little light today. Went on a long walk yesterday. 15 minutes. Low impact. Honestly, I, I, this sounds... Uh, I mean, this is... It doesn't sound insane. It is insane. I said, I've got an extra 15 minutes. Let me just pedal out a little bit, get some extra time on the bike. After about eight minutes, there was a dude in front of me on the leaderboard, and I said, I'm about to end this man's life. And I, I pedaled my ass off for like eight minutes for no reason. But I, I beat him by two kilojoules on the leaderboard, and I said, fuck you. And then I sent him a high five. <laughs> then he sent me a high five, and I was like, that's right, bitch. Eat shit. It is toxic. It's, it's psychotic. But it, you know, it's motivation. And had a big suburban dad weekend, you know? Went to, um, went to the park for several hours on Saturday. Then went to Hanam Supermarket at like 4 p.m. on a weekend. Bumping into people with my cart. People bumping, in, bumping into me in their cart. With their cart, I should say. Made it out just fine. Sunday morning, said, let's run it back. Let's go to Costco. That's where the, the tweet was real, by the way. There was a traffic jam in the Costco. The, it was gridlock. The, the carts could not move. And a staff member got up on a box and said, could you please not leave your carts parked in the middle of the aisle? Like, I didn't know that they had traffic directors. But that, I, for a brief moment, I was like, I might be killed. Like, we, we might be in, like, this might be a crush situation. I don't trust my fellow Costco patrons. Once you see, like, grown men in their 50s rush a, a minimum wage worker putting out a tray of gluten-free frozen pizza that's like the squares are like three centimeters by three centimeters, 
people were willing to wait like 15 minutes at the toaster oven, like camp in the spot, like it's a PAX booth about to have the line on capped just to get one or get like a, like, th I don't even know, like 20 milliliters of, of apple juice or something like the cheapest apple juice of all time. They're willing to wait two minutes for a sip of apple juice and then they take the little cup and they sip it and they go, ooh, oh, so that's what Alan's apple juice tastes like. Or like three Boom Chicka Pow popcorn kernels. I do not trust, I, I, I think that people in the store would slit my throat if they thought that they could get ahead. But maybe I'm wrong because we made it out of the traffic jam without dying. It's not Monka S. I should be the one that's Monka S. And I didn't need a damn Valium. Valium was unnecessary because the real Valium is realizing that I had a shopping cart full of shit that turned into a trunk full of shit. It took me three trips to bring in all the groceries. And uh, the total bill was like $167 Canadian. It's crazy. And 2% back. It, it, it is crazy. Well, it's part, part of the reason it's a three-tripper is because at Costco, they don't give you bags. So, and half of the shit is, like, too big or, like, it's a box, so it can't fit inside of a, a normal reusable bag. So you got to have, like, your own wagon or something like that to, to bring it in. Plus, we got, yeah, six, I got six flat screens and um, two Roombas, including the wet-dry uh, Roomba, um, the one that's, like, half vacuum, half mop. And uh, I will say, I'm not trying to knock uh, Costco. But I still don't have my new glasses. They're supposed to come in on Tuesday. I even phoned them like a, a true boomer. I phoned them on Sunday and said, hey, I'm just checking on the status of my glasses. And I could tell that they have a mandate at Costco to not insult the customer. Because rather than go, huh, have you received a text message yet? Have you received a call telling you your glasses were in? The lady was like, Oh, if you haven't received a text message yet, they're probably not in, but hang on, let me go check. And then she put me on hold, and I think there's like a 50% chance she went and she checked, and there's a 50% chance she just sat there for like 90 seconds, and then she was like, no, I don't see them, but they'll probably be here on Tuesday, because that's when we do receiving. She didn't check? I don't, honestly, here's the thing. I'm sure that this shit is like half automated, right? The glasses come in. They get scanned, the scan goes into a computer database that says whose order is this, it pulls my phone number, it sends a text message. Hey, this is Costco Robot, your glasses are ready for pickup. Like, I don't, then for me to phone her and be like, I'm just making sure the computer didn't make an error is a little presumptuous on my part. I'm not mad at her. The, the, it's customer service. Did she, did she handle my request? She did. And she made me feel like I was I was a valued part of the Costco ecosystem. I'm the asshole. I didn't do anything. <laughs> nice shirt, brother. Oh, thank you. This is um, this is a vestige from an earlier era. This every time people are like, "Why do game developers love NL?" Because I'm one of them. I'm not like other game developers. I've never shipped a game. I've never sold 50,000 copies of something on Steam. Uh, instead, I went, to, uh, I went to Redmond, Washington and took a 60-minute test to certify that I can use the software product known as Unity. Did I have to do some coding for that? I had to do a very, very small amount of coding. A lot of the test was like, if you want to add a collider to a unit, what method do you call? And it's like, you know, dot quaternion, dot rotate, dot rigid body. And I'm like, it's, it's, it's dot add collider, brother. Slash marker, sap. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's Sunday. No, it's not. I'm sorry again, it's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. We have to play Super Auto Pets. If we're ever going to get a hard mode win on the weekly, it's got to be like this, okay? Now, I did play a little bit on my um, on my phone yesterday. Not too much. Uh, I have a scaffolding for this weekly. It is a weekly where you can get a little bit lucky and get some early scalers. A giraffe, penguin, dragonfly. Um, maybe we got a chance. Leech camel, you will see everywhere as well. That's definitely true. 
By the way, I saw I, the for you algorithm. I previously was was very positive on it, not on TikTok, which is soon to be banned in uh, North America, I think. But um, on Twitter, I previously had sent some stuff that people found insane. Okay, it's not a good start. Namely, that like Twitter had grown stale for me, and I didn't realize it at the time. But Twitter had grown stale for me because uh, in 2013, I followed like people I know, and then they tweeted stuff I was interested in. And then, like, at some point, it just beca it became, like, complaining about everything. Which is fine. Complaining feels good. And that's what, like, I do during my streams, like, all day. But then the For You algorithm was surprised me because it, it switched me over to it without my consent. And then I was like, hold on. Twitter used to be ass, but now it's full of, like, cool videos of people, like, you know, trying to get out of the elevator. But then the elevator like starts going down while the door's still open. So they got to jump back in the elevator and then the elevator doors close like the start of Mystery Science Theater 3000 and stuff like that. Like it, it became really good. But then something happened and now all I get in my For You algorithm is like tweets about DC movies, which I have no interest in one way or the other. Like, I got a tweet today served to me, and it said, Terminator 2, or Arnold Schwarzenegger almost didn't sign on for the Terminator because he was worried about what playing a villain would do to his career. The rest is history. It launched him to be one of the biggest uh, superstars in Hollywood. See Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who forced Black Adam to be a hero, and then it tanked at the box office. And I'm like, are you stupid? Black Adam was not directed by fucking James Cameron. You know, those movies, you, you don't compare them. I don't think Black Adam failed because of the fact that Dwayne The Rock Johnson didn't want to be a villain. I think you just, you can't compare it with the damn Terminator, man. That's a, that's a classic. Then again, all I know about Black Adam is, is this. That's, that's all I know. That, I also got that tweet. I have no idea. They, they fucked up the algorithm. And then also, I've, I've started blocking and muting. It's like the first time in my life I've been blocking and muting channels, or, or Twitter accounts, I should say. How about the booming believers? Not because they're toxic, but just because I'm sick of seeing their shit. Like, there's this one, I get recommended, like, tweets from this channel, I don't know why I keep saying channel, this, this Twitter account, um, discussing film, like, every day. And I, no disrespect to you, discussing film, but, like, I got served nine tweets about Shazam 2's box office performance this weekend. I know it's domestic performance, I know it's international performance, I know comments that the director made about its performance. Oh, they were taken out of context. I know they were taken out of context from a Reddit AMA. And I just, I had to hit the fucking block button because I don't know, I don't care. They got me, they got me pegged all wrong. Go back to showing me like car crashes and stuff like that. I don't understand Twitter etiquette. <clears throat> Is it rude to tag people with more followers than you? I wouldn't say it's rude. I mean, it depends on what the point of it is. It's rude to tag someone that's completely irrelevant to the conversation. There's, a, there's not that much Twitter etiquette. There's some that you should know. For example, if a streamer makes a tweet, or any, like if a notable account makes a tweet, and then someone says something in the tweet that's like, I disagree with this and I hate you, it's hugely against etiquette it's bad manners to argue with them without unclicking the um person who made the op in the first place if you're gonna get in like a 35 tweet argument with somebody you gotta take out the person who originally made the post that kicked off your argument that's just like sometimes i sign on and i'm like i'm like oh i got 85 notifications and it's just like two people arguing back and forth about like subs versus dubs or something like that. And I'm like, oh my God, fuck you both. <laughs> what are you doing? Like normally there's some respite because you play against like the worse you do, you play against some teams that are also ass. Like these are all, these are all psychotic teams. They're all amazing. 
I'm not ignoring Chad. It's just like before the stream, everyone's like, oh, I want to see big ambitions. Then it's SAP. Everyone types people leave. And then during SAP, everybody types, well, that thing that you did, I would have done the opposite thing. Like they pretend to not be engaged. They're like, oh, I'm going to hate this content. And then the whole time they're like, you motherfucker, if you had just kept your ass squad, then glasses would have improved the HP of your stilt by one. I'm tapping into the damn id, man. Give me this. Nobody said anything about toxicity. We're, we're just cracking a joke. Holy cow. It's Monday, Lemon. Like, slow your roll. What changes does hard mode need? <laughs> Well, like, I don't know. I don't think it needs any changes. I think maybe this is just one that, like... Like, not every mode needs to be for every person. I kind of just want to tick this one, like, off my list and then never play it again. Or, like, if you could get, like, a, instead of getting a curse every two rounds... Listen, I, again, I'm just coming up with stuff off the top of the domes that might, like, actually not make sense. <laughs> I, I didn't really have a lot of time to prepare, but, um, you got me, like, even before the ants, but, like, what about, you get one curse for, like, five rounds, or something like that, that way you can at least build around it a little bit, instead of, like, okay, for two rounds, you're, like, um, I can't roll. And then immediately after that, you're like, oh, my highest HP unit is being killed. And then immediately after that, you know, you get the idea. I don't, and again, I don't have any data backing this up. This is just, you know, the classic streamer thing of like, um, I feel like this is happening to me. So I'm going to, I'm going to presuppose it as if it's a, um, as if it's the truth. But I feel like ever since playing hard mode, I've also gotten like, maybe the weeklies have just been a little like mono strategic like there's been one dominant strategy last week it was like if you get an early jellyfish it goes crazy as long as you you know get get levels after that i feel like this week is like every team you go up against is uh like leech camel so it makes me wonder i'm not accusing anybody but it makes me wonder if maybe people are playing on hard mode and then, like, their ass is not getting the unit that they want to get on turn three. And then they're abandoning the game and going back to the main menu and then starting up again to see if they... Not, not everybody, but, like, a higher proportion than usual, maybe, in hard mode is, like, I'm choosing to abandon this one because there's no chance. Because it really feels like the, the scaling has been, like, the first few have been, like... The first few rounds are usually like stable-ish. And then it's like, zoop! It goes straight to like every team past turn seven has like a pseudo meta team. My squad. My whole squad. No, I'm not Italian. I don't know who started this vicious rumor. French, Italian? No, I'm not even French. Your last name is uh, is French? Yes, this is true. I'm not French. Tiger Woods' last name is Woods. He's not a damn tree. He's not a damn tiger either. Yeah, exactly. French ancestors? I have no idea. For all, I, I don't know. I might have like... Um, I might have like Antarctic ancestors. But then like one of them just decided to like marry a guy from France at one point. I might have like 99% Antarctica genes. It's just my last name is not like a... It's not a genotype. It's the dumbest shit I've heard in a while. You should take like a 10th grade biology class, man. It's not like... A, it's not, you know, double ledger accounting. It's not like when you... When your mom, who like... Is, well, let me put it this way. My wife's last name is... French. Her whole... Genetic lineage is South Korea from like, I don't even know, like 15,000 years ago until like her own birth. Gregor Mendel's not up there in heaven like, oh, the, the, those Korean genes, guess what? Those are French now. Because in the 16th century, uh, Ryan's great, 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 great grandma fucked someone from Liege. 
For all I know, that might be in Belgium, okay? So I'd like to apologize. What's your heritage? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> That's right, I guess I could be Italian. Wouldn't that be something? Shouldn't have been so quick to say I'm not Italian. Turns out the lady doth protest too much. Oh, come on, we're so close. How does a mid-30s man not know his heritage? You guys are fucking weird today. It's just very... It's important to be fair. What are you talking I'm playing this emoji casino. People are like, where the hell is your great-great-grandma from? I don't know. I asked my grandma... Uh, this is like five years ago. I was like, grandma, like, what's our family heritage? And she was like, I don't really know past like my own father. She's like, your great-grandfather like moved here from Quebec. And I was like, no, like, where is he from? And she was like, oh, I don't know. Like he did just, we, we just sort of appeared in the, in the genetic record somewhere. I think back in the day, there wasn't so much, uh, there wasn't robust record keeping, you know? Somebody came over to the new world on a boat and then yada, yada, yada. And then people only started learning how to read in like 1905 or something like that. So it's all, it was all, it was, it was mixed up back then over here. I'm not going to do a 23 and me thing. I don't want to give Sergey Brin my, my genes. I just don't, the other thing is, like, I don't, I know this is a foreign concept to some people. I don't really care what my heritage is. It's like, I, I know I understand I used to be a Montreal Canadiens fan. So, like, for some people, heritage is all they got. But we're out here, we're, we're writing our own heritage right now. Maybe my jeans have 26 Stanley Cups. Maybe they got zero. It doesn't matter. All that matters is who's hoisting it in, uh, in June of this year. So, I don't know what I would be, like, I would pay money to 23andMe, and they would be like, guess what? Come here. Your jeans are a mishmash of, like, uh... Central, Western, and Eastern Europe. And I would be like, oh shit, I always knew that's why I liked um, pierogies and sausages and potatoes and soup. It's all of a sudden everything makes sense to me. Like, is it, what, what, what kind of information am I going to glean out of this? Like, I don't... <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, holy shit. I knew there was something like behind my love of sandwiches. What if you found out that, like, your ancestors owned the ship and it sunk and maybe you could get some treasure? I think finding out that my ancestors owned the ship is, like, one of the reasons I would not want to do a 23 of me, honestly. Some, some histories maybe are better left buried. Maybe you get a big inheritance? I don't think so. Like, how far... What is this name? Part one... It is an ancient mariner. That's so good. How, this is an honest question about like your, I guess about your values in life. How far down your family tree or up your family tree do you, let's assume you're wealthy. How far do you go before you just say, I'm giving the money to charity, okay? Right now, if I die, everything the light touches, of course it goes to my wife and my kids, my kid. And then, like, I don't know if my parents needed help, sure, to my parents as well. If they weren't in the picture, I would give, yeah, I'd go up another rung. I would hook up my grandparents or, like, um, I, would, I, would, I would jump across family lines. I would make sure that, like, my nieces got something. But then, like, after that, I don't, I don't think there's like a, a secret great, great uncle twice removed sitting in my family tree that's like, oh, I'm about to die, but before I die, can you please find my most distant genetic relative that I didn't even know existed? And like at that point, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm going out and I have no family within like two degrees of me, like from grandparent to grandchild, spouse... Or, like, niece or nephew, uncle, aunt. That's just going to charity, man. I'm not going to be like, hey, remember how we played um, that with that pretend McDonald's kitchen? 
when we were seven years old at one of those like once every five year family Christmases where not just the close family gets together, but like all the family gets together and you're like, hey, it's been forever since I've seen you. And I'm like, I don't know who you are. And they're like, you've grown so much. And I'm like, I know I was five last time and now I'm 10. It's crazy. That's what that's what we do. So I don't I, I mean, they they're strangers to me as far as I'm concerned. Can you please expand on Hayden Christensen's ability to please a woman? No, that's the thing is that people like, I, I mean, I made my point last week. Just because he did not make Rachel Bilson achieve orgasm when they dated doesn't mean he's incapable of making a woman achieve orgasm. It just means that he was incapable of doing it when they dated, which was in like 2005 or something like that. It's not a knock on Bill Hader. Bill Hader, we know that in the modern day, he's putting it down. But I don't know, maybe there's someone that Bill Hader dated when he was 21 or something like that. And he's, and they're like, I don't understand what all the fuss is about Bill Hader. He wasn't putting it down in 2003. I don't know, but people change over time. I didn't say it could be her fault. That's, that's not a, an area of, of conversation I'm willing to get mired in, okay? Day 23 of NL not reading my message. Have you considered writing better messages. I get blamed a lot for not reading the things that people say. People are like, I've been writing the same shit for a month and you've never read it. No, I've never read it out loud. If you've been writing the same shit every day for a month, I'm sorry to tell you I read it. Really, you should probably be apologizing to me. Because I, <laughs> I don't read everything in chat, but if you've written it, Multiple times a day for a month. I've, I'm sorry to tell you that I have seen it. I swear if I look it up and it's like... Play, play Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm gonna flip my fucking lid. I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Hey, are you ever gonna return to Deus Ex Mankind Divided? I used to fall asleep to that playthrough when I was in... Fifth grade, it would be. I'm sorry, it's like really condescending, but same motherfuckers who are like, please banter. I go look at the their chat history, and they're like, are you gonna play Baldur's Gate three when it comes? It comes out of early access in two months. Did you know? Uh, apparently, apparently, this is my first time. Sorry on TV. Um, I'll take my draw. Did you know that? Um, at Sam's Club in the United States, they have automatic free sample kiosks. Sam's Club is kind of like a, uh, a Costco, but it's from the Walmart brand. Um, so the automatic free sample kiosk, in order to get a free sample, you have to scan your membership card and then watch an advertisement for a product. And then it goes like, Burk. here's like a little fun size pack of Reese's Pieces. How condescending is that, man? That's like the first time I kind of lost my cool on r slash Costco. Costco apparently is, um, they're testing automatic free sample kiosks. Like instead of having a person cook in the frozen pizza, they just have like a bunch of single wrap products in like a big container and they go, please take one. And, uh... Pardon me. So many people on r slash Costco are like, if this was my local store... This thing would be empty in five seconds. Good. Who cares? That's what it's there for. I, it's not a big deal if people take two um, Cadbury, like little, like they couldn't take Cadbury cream eggs. Those wouldn't be offered for free samples. But two candy covered chocolate eggs for Easter in an individually wrapped like Halloween size container. Who cares if somebody walks up to it and takes a damn handful? It doesn't matter. That's what it's there for. If, you, if you, they don't take them, they're just going to like throw them in the trash. They have a summon type team with a level 3 poison frog. Definitely a situation where I'd rather have more lemons. But you know what? I had a feeling a slug was coming there. We got him. Okay. There's a chance... Roll, lose one gold. 
I'll, I'll settle there. We can't roll anyway. Nobody needs chocolate cake. Nobody needs any of this. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling then. Oh! Please, please free me from the yoke of hard mode. It's a scary looking team. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool, fuck you. Uh, ah, ah. All right, now, bask in that for just a second. Check and see if you got a slash moment. Nope. Hey, Naruto AMV from 2007. Thank you <laughs> for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Whoo, whoo. Most important part of this now is... Uh, There you go. Hey, Rex Mechanica and Skaworth, Krusty Jugglers and Rip Bazu, Librarian, Barn Dog. Thanks so much for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. And now, now cut it out. Cut it out. Krusty Jugglers, Mr. Aristotle, Killian. Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> Slash marker. <laughs> Sap. Oh, baby. And the whoosh dude as well. Thank you. Can I be honest with you? I think I forgot to put on deodorant after I got out of the shower this morning. I don't smell bad, but I'm definitely like, later today, I will smell bad if I don't go and put on some deodorant. So I'm going to be right back. Hey, Riberu, thank you as well. Just don't do anything. I'll be right back. This is the same playthrough I started from my bench. A lot of people made fun of my bench back then. Well, you're not making fun of me now, are you? Now that I sleep in uh, <laughs> in a bed in my store, you thought you were so slick back then. You know, we got to start asking the customers to take their shoes off. If if our decor was like this, people would be like, take my shoes off, who do you think you are? If we had uh, white floors and like paper walls and then like all our furniture was wood and then... Um, some Shugo Tokumaru was playing in the background, people would be like, oh, this is so authentic. Make it make sense, man. Look at how happy my guy is, too. He's loving life, man. Okay, is he 30% happy? Yes. Is that 50% more happy than he was yesterday? Yes. And that's how I choose to think about this. How about delivery? <laughs> how about you deliver on uh, Monday now? And, uh, I mean, let's go up to three boxes and... $8,000. Sure, I'm ready. And then, uh, I mean, why would they be mad? Like, I'm, I'm giving them business, they're giving me business. It's the Ouroboros that, that keeps this world turning. You could just call me Silicon Valley Bank the way I'm not managing my duration risk. Everybody loves Beanie Babies! I need a loan to buy more Beanie Babies, but every Beanie Baby I buy makes me $50. Oh, what the hell? Don't worry, the clean we're going to hire a cleaner, but there's no shame in doing things yourself, man. I mean, did Jimmy Carter start Habitat for Humanity just so he could micromanage other people? No, man. His ass was out there, like, for no reason at 92 years old, using a damn cordless drill. I don't want him put. no disrespect to former President Jimmy Carter. I do not want him putting my house together. I appreciate all of his philanthropic efforts, and I, I'm, I'm sure that he knows how to do it. I just, if, if I'm going to be living in the place, I personally would prefer. <laughs> Maybe they get someone else to... to to hammer the shingles into my roof because I live in a particularly rainy area. No, I'm with you. I don't want like a 16-year-old building my house either. Well, the thing is, we can afford a second store right now. The, the, what we have to remind ourselves is that we don't want to scale up too fast because we don't have an employee yet. Oh, I, or do we? <laughs> or do we? 
part-time cleaner, age 22. Lois, holy crap, Lois. This is just like that time you were cleaning Thrifty's Gifties. You're hired? She's going to bury you in debt? She costs like $100 a day. I could, I could have 10 cleaners in here. I wouldn't even notice. She's not going to quit. She's, she's grateful. I can tell. Most normal boss of all time. <laughs> she's, she's grateful for those hours. We got to buy some groceries, but you know what? Let's, let's look at this first. Okay. I got to tell you, I, we found you a new candidate. I snooze on that. Isn't there still... It's day 34. I'm not hiring her right out of the gate. 39% customer service. Catherine Young, yet she has the audacity to be middle-aged. Okay, make it make sense. Hang on, y'all. I need a lunch break. Here go two more for y'all. I gotta buy some damn groceries tomorrow. Your boy's kind of sad. Yeah, but who cares? Look at how much money he's making. He's he's freaking crushing it, dude. This is what it's why you pay extra to live in New York, man. Look at that. One step, I'm at my grocery store. The Midwest could never. Chicago's in the Midwest? I think Chicago would take issue with you saying that, honestly. Chicago's not in the Midwest. Chicago's in Chicago. Anybody from Chicago want to plus two the thing that I just made up to make my point stronger? Look at that. So many plus twos. It's just a shame that it came from people from Chicago when everybody knows that the true superior pizza city in the United States, and many people are coming around to this now, is Detroit. No offense to the New Yorkers. Not, not trying to ruffle feathers. But for me, I'm a, I'm a Detroit pizza stan when I get a chance, which is not often. I'm not trying to ruffle feathers. That's not just a con contrarian take. I think that the, a Detroit pizza is like the... It's my favorite kind of pizza. You're also from Canada? Yeah, your ass is not from Italy, so why would I care what you care or what you say about pizza? Plus, we invented Hawaiian pizza up here. You're welcome. Hawaiian pizza's too out there for me. World's most adventure America's most adventurous palate. I didn't mean to, I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. Because it's not like you were being an asshole or anything. You were just, you know, making conversation. But I don't know, like, I, I'm, when people, I'm, I'm so over, like, the pineapple on pizza conversation to begin with. But, like, come on. It's just, just pineapple's not that weird. 30% age 64? You're worse in every way. The only thing good about you is you got lower standards. How many, wait, did I say, I, I said I want five candidates? Okay, we're, 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 we're holding, we're holding. As Jack Bogle said, don't do something, just stand there. Honestly, we could probably tell that guy to put his phone on Do Not Disturb, though. I don't think he's getting the call back. I'm not being ageist. I'm just saying you have to, like, this is a fast moving industry okay you gotta have drive you gotta hustle and bustle and you need to have very low expenses because we're not going to pay you very well this is more of a sweat equity situation although you're not receiving any equity you're merely receiving an hourly wage no ownership stake was so i mean look at the free cash flow we got here there's no shot i'm giving you equity bro we're, we're making money hand over fist dominic fisher horrible at customer service horrible at cleaning wants to work part-time your ass, put your phone on do not disturb and go to sleep. You are not receiving a callback. Uh, you know what I got to do? I got to fire the marketing agency. The marketing agency is not getting the job done. Hire two, train one up. What am I, a damn charity? You, I mean, listen, we're paying $4 in interest a day. As far as I'm concerned, we got 34000 in the bank. Get that out of here. We're officially now debt free. And then take another one. 
How, you know what? Let's put the rest of our capital into the S&P 500. This is beautiful. I wanted to see how, how, how much are we spending daily in wages? I don't want full transactions view. Wage. <laughs> so that's, we, we went with no employees for 18 days. It was the hardest time of my life. So like 90, <laughs> export to CSV. <laughs> Just got off a 14 hour shift at uh, Ernst and Young during income tax season. Let's go audit the Thrifties Gifties books. That's so funny. Are you crazy? Are you psychotic? You know what drives me crazy at Costco? And I know that this is like too Costco pilled. It drives me crazy. We live in a society, okay? Inside of the Costco, your ants in the ant hill. Nobody's better than everybody else except the queen, my wife. You are you're in traffic. You walk at the same speed as the people around you. I know you got to get to the bagels, okay? So you just you don't rush ahead and then get to the bagels. You just stay in traffic, and when you get to the bagels, you pull off your cart to like a place where it's not going to irritate people, and then you grab the bagels and put them in. Or you park your cart in the store, and then like in a, in a place where it's not going to aggravate people, and then you go freehand, and you grab a bunch of shit, and then you toss it into your cart and move again. Number And this happens all the time. I'll be moving at highway speed. Everybody else around me is going the same speed. I, if I go faster, I'm going to bump into somebody. If I go slower, they're going to bump into me. And then somebody is going zip, 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 like dipping in and out. Like there's two lanes of traffic moving in two different directions. And they're like, like weaving like a motorcycle, their filter passing. Then they get in front of you and they're like, I'm not, I'm better than everybody else at Costco. I shop fast. And then as soon as their ass sees like a Terry's chocolate orange six pack, they just stop. And you're like, you really passed me just to stop immediately? It's like people on the freeway, you're uh, like an eighth of a mile away from a highway exit. They pass you and then immediately like exit the highway. What's the point? We got to the exit at exactly the same time. I just, there, we, we've got a sick society, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Shit just drives me crazy. If someone passes me, and then within like three seconds, they're on the other side of the store, I'm like, okay, you probably said, I'm just going to run in for something real quick. Somebody's like, oh, I need uh, 17 croissants from Costco ASAP. You know, your ass is like, don't worry, I got it. I'm in and out. But if you like get in, you, you rush to get in front of me and then your ass is just like in front of me going slower than I was in the first place. I'm just going to say you're lucky that we live in a society with, with laws and phones with cameras in them. I wouldn't physically harm them, but I might, I might pull them aside like Larry David style and ex say, excuse me, what are you doing? Why did you, why did you push so hard to get past me just to then move slower than me? Okay. I'll take over your shift tomorrow. Bizman. My employees. I don't know. All these apps have got the same logo now, man. They all got rounded edges. They all got a little, like the, the letter that is the first name of the company stylized a little bit. But Bizman and Market Insider, I mean, they really take it to the next level. This is absurd. How am I supposed to know whether I'm tapping on Bizman or Market Insider? at a glance. My new glasses haven't come in yet. By the way, I know I keep going off on rants here. Why the hell am I getting a, a message on my phone from the messages app that says if you're enjoying messages, please rate it for other users in the app store. Bro, it's messages. It comes with the phone. Nobody's going to the app store and being like, can you... <laughs> Download messages? It's the, it's the default app. It says certified Android moment. I don't really know the difference between Android and iPhone, and I intend to keep it that way, quite frankly. Dude, now it's a real local business. Somebody doing work while the boss just sits there and watches uh, television right next to the cash register. 
I mean, now at this point, I mean, this is a lot like life, man. It's like, I'm like, why buy a computer? There's no reason to buy a computer. Then I'm like, well, what the fuck else am I going to do? Just stand in a room looking at nothing? Like, you can stream in the game, right? <laughs> Kate told me she went to like a, a business in uh, Lougheed, which is like a neighborhood in Burnaby outside of Vancouver and like inside of the business they sold like health products but in the back of the business they had a bunch of like Bitcoin miners set up that we'll have our business operating out here and then we'll be in here streaming making the big bucks every once in a while we'll be like all right Chad I'll be back in a second click what the hell are you doing out here? You, you don't, you're you not even saying hello and welcome. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with when you walk in. It's basic customer service, man. I don't even know what am I doing here. I don't need to be here. What's my ass going to... I guess my ass is just going to watch like four hours of TV. And then another four hours of TV. <laughs> and then another... And I'll, it, here comes another four hours of TV. Okay, she's finished her training in customer service. I honestly, I don't... We don't need to go down this track necessarily. I'm not sure everybody's ready for it. But like without the toiling, my guy's life has no meaning. He's got too much empty space. He used to have a pursuit in life. He used to have a passion. Now his ass is just standing up watching... <laughs> He's just watching TV like one foot away from the television all day like a crazy person. You're right. I do. I Now I finally understand why CEOs tweet. Why like ex-chairman of the Federal Reserve are going on Twitter and being like, here's my opinion on what's happening right now. Bitch, you're rich. What are you doing this for? Did you get like another 75 followers on your Twitter account? Like, what's the point? Can't you just go golf or something? It's so dis... Like, I, I know we've said this before, too. If your ass is, like, already rich, the least you could do is not tweet to give some hope to the rest of the people down in the, in the rat holes, man. I thought it was supposed to be, like, would you beat the boss and now, like, go enjoy life. Whenever someone's like, look at how wealthy I am, also, like, I can't help but get in Twitter arguments, I'm like, you mean that shit is up here? That's it? That's firmware in every human brain? Is just, like, make yourself miserable? Yeah, of course, I could explain why most businesses fail. Um, I think it's because the owners just don't want it enough. Like, oh, it's your lifelong dream to like run a restaurant or whatever, and yet you're not willing to um, sleep on a park bench outside of the grocery store where you buy one fresh food item every single day. You're not willing to sleep for 20 hours a day on a park bench outside of Elgato Food Mart. Well, then I'm sorry to say that you just didn't want it enough. You know what? You're right. This would be a great day. What is it? 924? Should only be a 75 minute long line at the bank right now. Let's go put all our free capital into, uh, into GICs. And you know what? Sometimes it's just nice to get a little nostalgic. Hey, brother. Larry. I'd like to make a new investment. I'd like to invest in... <laughs> I'd like to invest in Franklin U.S. Risk is low. Amount to invest. I'm never coming back here. I'll be straight up with you. I don't. I do get deliveries today, though, right? I'll, I'll give you. A, I'll give you thirty grand right off the top. The full amount has been invested. You can see it in your portfolio using Econo View. Now I have to. In order to be a good investor, I have to delete Econo View from my phone. Do you know how to make this happen? How could it go tits up? It's Franklin U.S., man. I didn't invest in Euro Energy. Come on. You should check on your investments, buddy. <laughs> Market just opened. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm down $10. Yeah, you sell, sell, sell. It's a ski hill, man. No, no, no. You know what makes me different than the average investor? Today's a red day. That means I'm on my way to Jensen Capital before it closes in 20 minutes. Sit me down, please. I have an emergency buy order for Franklin U.S. 
You're going to toss me five grand of that right there. I'm getting a deal. Oh, baby. That's why we buy, we buy the dip. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared to uninstall this game. I uninstalled it. Yeah, I might not. I don't think I'll be able to play. Oh, no. Why? Dog? The gamepad is not working. Oh, dude, I, I, I know how to fix it. I did it today. Well, what do you do? Okay, you're, you're not going to like step one, but you do Steam big picture mode. Oh. <laughs> not, he's, he's right. He's right. Wait, for me, Can Apollo, Apollo pretend I'm doing that? a subathon, and all I want you to do is play uh, uh, Tokyo, uh, uh, London with me, okay? How do you stream big picture mode? Um, you do, I don't think you have to play in big picture mode. Yeah, you're just going there to get to settings that only exist there, right? Yeah, I believe that's I don't know what's correct. happening. The game opened up in the wrong resolution, and then it immediately closed when I hit a button. It's a good game, guys. It's a good game. Now, if only I could have it launch at my standard resolution on my monitor. It's just I'm never using... enough for you, is it? <laughs> so borderless gaming. Borderless gaming is how I make this game look not like shit. It just okay. it, it loads in 1080 and then my whole screen goes, <sighs> what if, the if hell? This, if this didn't work, you guys have to go without me. I just mapped every single button on the controller to the No, thing, please, so. I need you. I need you. I'm just being <laughs> real with you. If this don't work, I don't know what else to do. Five people is just... Four people playing a game is sad, but five people is awesome. It means that you, there's a lot of friends. No. The, well, the right, servers well. on this game are only up from, um, I think, 11 to, like, 1 LA time. So we have, like, an hour, I think. That can't be true. That's not... That uses Steam servers, right? No, it's they're cutting costs, and they did so they they minimized it. You you wouldn't know that, so I think that you're making that up. <laughs> you would not. Why wouldn't I know that? I fucking looked it up before we played because I wanted to make sure we all had a fun experience. And I am lying, but that's not the problem. <sighs> so who do, gonna, who do I want to fight for? Right <laughs> I forgot about this oh, shit, dude. man. Oh, oh, can I do the it's Halo so thing? Funny. It's always fun. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Fuck, oh, how the fuck does my keyboard work? I found it. I meant controller. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. Is that there good? Go. That was I'm amazing. listening to Ch Chibli's muted in death. Oh, you're also Japan. I yeah, was gonna I go to Japan. Japan. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I, I muted him. I've uh, muted I'm everyone. Go, what? Go grab my what the hell? Ooh, Apollo getting Starbucks? What the fuck? I know! That's, that's weird. Yeah. First he got a dog, now he's got I Starbucks. Dude, the, the dog really is wearing else. him down. He had to get I a little accidentally clicked to get on going. View profile. What the fuck? Get me out of here. Also, just to clarify, I'm not actually Brazilian. Just to anyone who's curious. I'm just showing my support. Um, um, uh, Gamer Canada. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, game it, um, Japan. Burst! He's very big Japan! I was just trying to get more subs for Justin, man. Come on. So true. So game of Brazil. Burst! Burst Brazil! I'll what be neutral. Game of Sui. Burst! Sui! 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 Wait, is my controller working? <laughs> it works in the menus. Go! Go! Oh. You motherfucker. Oh my god! My controller doesn't work! <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Why does it- Oh, I'm not tapped into the game. Oh, good race, Justin. I'm not tapped into- Because I wasn't tapped into the game. I wasn't tapped into the game. My controller works. Oh, no. I was clicked into there OBS. Is, is, no, new PB, new PB. New PB, day one? Or the day yeah, 3000? Let of it be amazing. clear, I would have won that. Man, man, wow, what a game, huh? Actually, <laughs> I can't believe we went through all that to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, feet or armpits? Um, what? What's the context? <laughs> Which one smells more? Armpit. Like you're in like a character creation screen and like you need to pick a debuff and one of them is a foot fetish and one of them is an armpit fetish. <laughs> Definitely rather have a foot fetish. 
than an Omni. Really? Fetish. Yeah. The Omni fetish, fetish is weirder. Foot fetish, at least people will like understand. No, they, because an Omni. No, I feel like Omni fetish is for chill, man. Come on, guys. Even, like, has, I don't think you'll find someone to, who shares that. No, no, a lot of people like armpits. Do you have an armpit fetish, fetish? Don't you have to fuck the armpit? I feel like with a foot <laughs> fetish, you just get turned on by the look of the foot. I feel like you fuck the you feet just, too. Well, no, I think you I think foot fetish an implies you're putting a foot in your mouth. <laughs> Where armpit fetish just implies you're fucking an true, armpit. Honestly. In my opinion, just do the armpit noise and they'll be convinced. What's X? Okay, guys, so it we turns out X is noise? the fuck. X is the top button. Just so you guys know. No, it's not. It was for me. I, I, I had screwed it up. Ah, oh, I belly flopped. Yeah, My guy's X fucking was... dead. <laughs> you're, a, you're playing on a That's me with an armpit. That's me with an armpit. What, is, what is that? Me with an armpit? Yeah, but what are you doing? They don't to smell as... <laughs> motorboating it? Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that either, honestly. Yeah, I wouldn't want to motorboat an armpit. He's squishing both sides of the armpit together. <laughs> If, if I if I love someone, I would rather get way closer to their armpit than their feet. We should do this in real life. Yeah. Dude, going to LA just makes me want to be famous and have an office. Why? <laughs> Why do you want an office? Because like I was in an off I was in the super mega offices, man. And I'm like, dang, I'd get so much done here if I lived here for work. Day two, your ass would what be would like, I get I'm done? working from home oh. today. Is that okay? And oh, would, you made me miss. We'd never yeah, see I never want to. I never want to go to an office again. Yeah, no, it like, wasn't an office. It was chill, man. There was like gay porn DVDs on the wall and shit. <laughs> That's fine. Well, they call it. That. That's where I they have were. Gay porn at home. Yeah, I have gay porn at home. Like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I've never seen gay porn in my whole life. I mean, yeah. But it was cool because it was like a decoration on the wall. Guys, it's 2023. It's just called porn. Just enough that's true. Ooh, that's true. Well, well, he's trying to make up for the fucking privilege shit. I got it. I'm, I'm digging myself out of a hole. Can everyone stop calling him base? You should have heard him the other day. They yeah. did the old switcheroo. What, what was it you said exactly, I Ryan? Was all right. I think I he said, said um, I said, unfortunately, said, no, I was cursed to be straight. And then you said, at least acknowledge your privilege. And then I said, I can't think of what to say, but I don't want to say what privilege. Yeah, and then you said, what <laughs> privilege? No, I said, what privilege? <laughs> I said, which privilege? Ryan, you feel really guilty on this one, so you're going to miss. You're I did. I already missed. How did you know? <laughs> I can't believe I'm, I'm losing my guy best. who almost got game over by the fucking menu. Shut that up, man. Not you! I'm not about Corey. I guess you also kind of... Yeah. Man, this is the best game I've ever played. You know when this game came out, I rented it from a video store to play it with a big YouTuber? What the fuck? <laughs> I played it with Zerka HD. Oh, man. I should have had bowling. I would win. I got glitched on the second one. Sick. This is illegitimate. Let's go. Let's go. I got it. I got it now. I took it. Fuck my ass, dude. Thank you. I missed. I missed so fucking bad because of that extra noise at the end. Yeah. Luckily, I uh, recovered, but I suck. You got a higher than perfect score. This guy said I missed. Well, no, I missed the first one by like a goddamn mile, but then nailed the last four. So it's misleading. All right. I feel like my game is broken, man. Something's not doing it right. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> and just try to figure it out based on the the wind, like the flags in the game, you know. Oh. Fucking nailed that one. Did someone just make a Discord notification sound? No. How is that no, nice? Someone... Eat... I rub it noted. Oh, I'm fucking pissed. I'm so bad. Oh! oh! God, I'm really... <laughs> <laughs> He's the joke. He's crazy hamburger. To enjoy this is a great spectacle at the London 2012 Olympics. Okay, that was much better. Thank you. You saved me. Yep. Dude, I cannot hit 45. I'm not even close. That might this be a good one. 
Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. We literally that's the that's the max score in this game. Really? Yeah. Yes. You Ooh. Get that. Are you sure? Yes. I think I, I left a little bit on the table. I think I'm just having trouble with what? the timing on the the disc the, the disc part. Yeah, my game just glitched, and my guy's just stuck still, and he won't spin. <laughs> He's shy. I, I I can't do anything. He's nervous. Go. I guess so. Everyone else is moving, but I'm frozen like a statue. Well. Huh. Well. Well. Hmm. Huh. Did a window on your computer open up, taking the precedent from the... Uh... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm clicked into that thing. The president, Jimmy Carter, 07. And like, and like the crowd's waving, there's guys on the field just walking around, and I'm just standing here frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has to tie me out eventually, right? Has to. If mm. you take my only gold medal from me, <laughs> dude, an act of you, 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 you have to. Oh, you mean if he's stuck forever? Yeah. Oh, I guess we're just gonna have to restart. Uh, I need to. I, mean, I need I to at least put. Void. I need to put my score into the ledger because it's a world record. I think we have to. I don't oh. think it's gonna count, man. Yeah, I don't know, but Chippy count. got sixty-nine oh nine though. Yeah, maybe we should restart based <laughs> off of the scores. I'm push. I've pushed every button, and none of them did anything. What if you close your game? I guess I could return to menu. I'm gonna do it. Do it. No, no, we should restart. Well, I mean, if I leave, uh, get Ryan a score, man. I'm yeah, we'll just get, get Ryan a score, score and then everyone man. can it, quit. It stays on the like the overlay for. I left. Well, he left the game. I quit. There you go. I can't man. believe he left the game. Yes! yes! Oh, I got a medal because of that. Yeah, oh, it gave me second place. Let's go. <laughs> Isn't this great, guys? Oh, I love London. I love all I'm mini game collections. I'm now swimming. I think this is one of the best mini game collections. It's definitely one of the worst if you have like elbow tendonitis. Because every game is just mash the A button as fast as you can. <laughs> Using your elbow oh, I don't for have that? that. Well, when, you, when you're mashing as hard as I am, brother. Fuck. I just turn on my Hitachi and put it on the button. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was yeah. yours? <laughs> <laughs> I was brushing my teeth with that thing. Yeah, I turned on my Hitachi. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just put it on my leg. What you got a big fuck? mouth, man. <laughs> Again. You ever see his front his Ooh. front incisors though, man? They are Ooh. white as can be. It is that's damn true. Oh, I see myself oh again. the worst spot. Excuse me? The worst spot. Oh, it's because a great lobby. Smear. It's, it's a great just lobby okay. joining <laughs> shit. Wait, what do you do? Do you hold the button and then spam? I do this shit's so remember. stupid, I love it. I'm at the back because I joined last. Awesome. Get the fuck out of my way. Am I not pushing the right yeah, button? Yeah, what the fuck? A. Tap A. I'm over. I'll never catch up. Bye. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Bye. <laughs> Piece of shit! Go to hell! I'm gonna throw a mount on cocktail in your window! I'll never catch up. God, this is, this is the dumbest. What a game. You, what a yeah, game. Fucking spawn first, oh. dude. <laughs> I, I clawed my way from fucking fourth, dude. My guy didn't buy. I'm sitting still. Man. Thank you, Emma Thank you, Lovewell. Paul. Thank you, Sam Yo. Thank you, Dennis Morton. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I haven't biked in like two weeks. I hate it. Ooh. New Zealand's really good at this in real life. Who cares? <laughs> Lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so man. mean. I know. Okay, sorry that your country's fucking uh, got main character syndrome and they are on a piece of okay. asshole. A shit hole. I mash the triggers way harder than I need to in this game. Yeah, I always like, it's like a real rowing stroke. Like, I always put more pressure towards the end of the stroke. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Y'all gonna be waiting there for a little bit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you see the way Chipley crossed the line? That's why they were typing oh, Joel or dude. Oh, did I spin? <laughs> He's literally Joel. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, that was four and a half minutes? If a half a minute was 50 seconds? Brazil I'm is like 800 years in the lead and it's pissing me off. World record! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I? World record! Thank you. I was going way too fast at the start. I was yeah, like... I did, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I did not he know did, the timing on this. I went very fast. No, me. I got world record! Look! World record! <laughs> I don't see all WR on mine. Yeah, sorry, I, I got don't WR. see it on mine either. I'm sorry. Does someone care about me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, I'll just get it again. Oh, you have to do it again. Right, I forgot. Oh, fuck. Oh. We got no excuse now. Well, no, now you have uh, men's uh, back. Uh, I'm back more familiar with, down, with the male anatomy. Oh, and how to on. Use they, it. they like, they tape this shit. Go, 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 go. It's oh, helping. Go. It's go. helping. Go. I missed go. one stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't fuck up. Oh, oh go. Oh, oh. oh, God. You got hit. Hey, hey. World record! World record again! <laughs> <laughs> World record! <laughs> well, it's kind of problematic that the men were like so much faster than the women in the 100 meter breaststroke. <laughs> what is Sega men. trying to You're say? What is Sega trying to say? They program the men to be like 3% faster? Why are you inviting this fucking uh, dialogue? It's not me, dude, right it's now. Sega! It's Sonic, it's little blue devil. <laughs> If I was making the game, I'd make the women faster. Uh, okay, dude. You wanna get on Joe Rogan? Like, it's fine. I've been watching a lot of Joe Rogan recently. Why? Yes, yes. I literally almost missed because of that. I suck shit, man. Maybe I should start watching Joe Rogan. He's been very hateful. Dude, I saw. I made him in Texas. <clears throat> <laughs> I saw a weird base Tucker Carlson uh, interview. Whoa. You shouldn't say that. You made me miss. Stop talking about it. I mean, I've not been watching Joe Tucker Rogan, Carlson. by the way. He was talking about, like, the M&Ms, right? Owning the oh, means of production. Was it, was it accidentally based Tucker Carlson? Probably. You have to, you have to imply, or, uh, imply that. That's I just want to lie to Joe Rogan so bad because he believes anything, man. Okay, Justin sucks shit up a four second one. I think my, my tier list of games is Dark and Darker and then London 2012. That's a good tier list. Those are my favorite Thank games you. of 2023. It's crazy because London has like three games inside of it. There's like Tap A, there's Flick the Stick, and then there's Tap A and Flick the Stick. Like that's, I think it's the perfect mini game game though. Like it's it's just the perfect game. This it, game is. In spite dead. of the fact that every game is exactly the same. Everybody, as soon as the game starts, says, how do I play this one? <laughs> well, yeah, because there's no, they don't give any tutorialization. It's confusing, man. Oh, oh, That's going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing. That's going to be pretty good. This might be amazing. Mine wasn't that amazing. No, mine wasn't as good as whoever's in first. But. How do you hope <laughs> the universe wants me to go fuck myself, man? The universe does when you go fuck yourself, man. Oh my man. god, point one. Pride, man. Uh, here we go, then. Round two. Wait, what? What? <laughs> point one. No, you okay. can fuck yourself. You've told me. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> I'm about to hang on a minute. <laughs> oh! Cowboy. <laughs> no! Holy, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop it? Teach me the ways of your discus. Ooh, I've, I've explained the mechanics of this game a hundred times. Nobody fucking listens. They just their eyes gloss over and then they say, "What do you mean the three the three well, no, circles?" You're like, oh, you uh, you tap on the circles. Well, if I never see the fucking circles, how do I get the circles? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to explain it so simply. Dude, my shit just won't go past 70, and I feel Shout like out simply, yeah. Super Mario 64 speedrunner. With, with the last shot, can I point the gun in my mouth? I do so Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a reference to the Netflix show Dark? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's when the ogre, or the orc, uh... I'm gonna do an Adele cover. Keeps himself in the head. I forgot to tell anybody. Dude, we got my daughter a Happy Meal this weekend. And the toy was Shrek for some reason. It was like a little Shrek figurine, even though there hasn't been a new Shrek property in a hundred years. 
So I took uh -huh. out the Shrek toy and I said, here's your toy. And she like wasn't that into it. And then I said, what are you doing in my swamp? And her face just turned like... She just saw like the most terrifying thing of all time and like her bottom lip started to quiver. And then she started like tears were welling up in her eyes. And I was like, oh honey, it's okay. It's just, that's not daddy, that's just Shrek. And then she said, don't do that. Don't do that voice. It was so, and she was inconsolable for like five minutes, which is a really long time for a two year old. She's gonna, she's gonna tell that story on her stream in the future. Did oh you, no, my controller is doing the double press thing. I'm ruined. Oh, I hit a nine angle on that one. That was uh, embarrassing. I, my controller is uh, maybe out of commission. Oh, well, good thing the segment's almost over. I'm going big. It's the six, man. I'm never. Ah, oh, I did the stick lift. hilariously wrong. Oh, I went too big, guys. Can I go back down? How that happen? Do it, do the flip. Guys, I went for a two, two, three. I dug deep for that one. I felt my, my elbow wanted to give up and I said, not today, not today. What? Wow, the downwind is oh, bullshit. Oh, bullseye, baby! That's my first one. I'm proud. Thank you. Hello, Northern Lion he's Fish a, in my he's a, he's a, he's just a. Oh he's my like god, a, I hit two in a row! He's just a proud boy. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like I don't like the Proud Boys for a lot of reasons. One of them, they ruin polo shirts. Now every time I wear a polo shirt, Chad says, "Did you just get back from the Proud Boys meeting?" <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't aware that yeah, that was part of the uniform, pair, man. Dude, you're done. Yeah. Well, they, they, don't they wear multiple? And like, multiple <laughs> polo multiple shirts. They like they like nestle the they like uh like Russian doll nest the polo shirt with the pop collars. Are you thinking of Transformers they wear, too? Then they wear a backwards wow. uh, golf oh, visor. Eight. This is the final end. Good games, lads. Well, good games. Yeah, good Thanks for coming to my birthday, wow. hey, guys. The first 15 minutes of like tech support. Oh, it's okay. It was, uh, I think. It's a. It's. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. I think two hours was perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me make sure my wife is ready to stream. Hello. Are you ready to stream? I'm seven minutes over time. I have a 3.30 meeting. My wife's Discord status is a yellow moon. Gotta go pee, gotta eat this, gotta eat a salad before I go. Let me just make sure that, uh, that, that she's good to go. Give me a second here. She was taking a nap. We're saved. Could probably do movie to movie really fast if I... I'm not going to do that because I don't know anybody that was in Twilight Zone the movie. How about guess the game? And then slash marker London. This is Skyward Sword. Metacritic score of 80? Never mind. It's not, it, it wishes it was Skyward Sword. This is Blue Horizon, Blue Ocean. It's Blue something, Blue Forever. Blue, I skip, I don't know this. Rhinoceros? Originally on Windows. This is on the Windows platform. Corrupted Wolf. Is this World of Warcraft? <laughs> Mutilator 5. Sicarius's. Pe it must be EverQuest then. What? Released in 2008. Age of Conan. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I skip. Take me to the last guess. Developer Funcom. Isn't that, isn't that Age of Conan Unchained? Oh! <laughs> I thought it was called Age of Conan Online. Isn't this the game that um, Penny becomes addicted to in the Big Bang Theory? Oh, please. The only way she could have a contribution to science is if they resume sending chimps into outer space.
All right, Kate is, I can hear the bubbly cracking upstairs. I do not know a lot about the Big Bang Theory. I literally know two things. I know the episode where Penny becomes addicted to Age of Conan, and I know this, this quote where Sheldon says, oh please, the only way she could have a contribution to science is if they resume sending chimps into outer space. Those are the two things, and Bazinga. I don't even know the name of the other guy. There's Sheldon and... <laughs> when you say it, I'm gonna know it. Leonard! Leonard, of course. Anyway, have a good night. What's the emo? It's like... Uh, the smiley face with the arms going like, oh, like that. No. Oh, that's no. Ryan did that emote while he was sleeping last night. He like, he was asleep, but then he looked at me and he did the exact no emote to me. And I said, what did I do? And then he looked at me like I did something really bad. And then, and then he just like turned around and he like fell back to sleep. And I'm like, dude, this, this guy, he's, he's even like, he's Twitch emoting even in his, even in his sleep. You know how people, they're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe Kate and Ryan, even in like normal conversation, they talk. Is like Twitch emote saying like Pog or you know Monka S and stuff like that, Giga Monka and stuff. And then here, here he is on the next level, doing no emote in his sleep to his wife. And I had no idea what the like what the hell was happening. I even said, uh, "What's wrong?" And then he didn't even answer. He just like fell back to sleep. So I'm pretty sure he was just sleeping the whole time. That he was just, uh, he was emoting in his sleep. Luna, when she sees Shrek, oh no. <laughs> Did Ryan tell you the story? It was like, it was worse than crying. She was on the verge of cry, but she was trying so hard not to cry, but she, like her eyes were terrified. And then she's like, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like that. And then I was like, oh no. And then this morning, <laughs> this morning, when Ryan said, good morning, honey. Did you have a nice dream? She was like, don't use that voice. <laughs> and then I was like, that's daddy's normal voice. That's not the Shrek voice. And then she's like, I don't like that voice. And I said, Ryan, you should do the Shrek voice just to, just to, uh, hear the difference. And then Ryan said, Ah, donkey, get out of my trough. And she was like, I don't like that. I don't like that voice. I saw, like, uh, it was like a Korean traveling show, and they're like, oh my gosh. I think, I don't know why, like, when Korea, you know how, like, foreign countries, when they want to, like, project image of a country? Um, like, for, from Korea, they project Canadian image as, like, we're, like, the, the naturalist, like, we're, like, hug the mountain, hug the tree kind of thing. It's either that or, like, we're standing next to the beaver kind of thing. And, um, they were, like, we, uh, we went to Topino in... Uh, BC, like, this is where you can really, like, this, this, is, this is where people go to, like, heal in nature and be one with the nature. And then, and then, like, when I was watching the clip of Tofino, then I was like, it's nice. Lots of people uh, from Vancouver go there, like, as a summer break and stuff like that because it's beautiful. But as a person who studied many years in uh, geology, geography, I would never go to Tofino. <laughs> I would never go to Tofino. 
Because, like, the whole time when you're in uh, geology slash geography in BC, you would, like, the literally one takeaway mes message is that at, at, at any point there can be an earthquake because we are due for a gigantic earthquake. And if there is going to be an earthquake, it's, like, um, it's going to be devastating. Like, it's going to be, like, the biggest earthquake in, like, on Earth kind of thing. And, like, things will collapse and people will die and there will be nothing left in Vancouver. But then the part that's gonna get ruined the most is gonna be the Tofino. Because it's gonna create a tsunami. And Tofino is basically the outside of the Vancouver Island. And the whole tsunami will, will engulf Tofino and, like, the it would just be underwater, basically. So, like, here I am. You know, with that mind drilled into my brain for, like, a few years. I'm like, dude, I ain't going there. At any point, at any point, that shit can happen and I'll be dead. And then there was, like, I remember in UBC, I took um, Earth Science as well. And it was, uh, it was uh, homework or a project where, like, one day uh, you decided to go to Tofino uh, with your family because it was nice. It was summertime. Uh, but then you hear the alarm, the earthquake has uh, broke out, where can you go to survive in Tofino? And then like, literally that was the homework. I'm not even making a single shit up. And I was like, you know, like looking up Google map, like where is the highest mountain? Like where, like, cause like, it's like tsunami, right? You gotta go to the, the highest point so that you don't go underwater. And then you study the like i guess like the the mountain like the 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 level of the land in the tofino area you you pick the highest raised ground you go there at the the, the peak the peak of the mountain and then you know that's like people like the students hand in the homework assignments and then they're like this is where we will go try to survive and then the professor they like he like laughed and he's like ha 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 you're all dead because like the tsunami is going to be like this high and even the highest point of Tofino is not even close so uh you better just uh either like drive to be like try to go to the opposite side of the Vancouver Island as fast as possible or just like accept death and I was like what the hell was the point of this assignment then the answer was like no you can't live you will just die i'm like thanks prof that was very nice like why what was this assignment for like people spend hours trying to like find the answer and he just goes like too bad you're just dead because you can't i was like this, this guy's messed up i still remember it kate's never leaving vancouver no, no. Um, end of April, we're going to Kingston. Because uh, Luna, as you all know, Luna is switching to a new daycare. And before we switch to new daycare, um, we want to go visit Ryan's family. And Ryan was very, like, determined. Like, he wanted to go back to Kingston because it has been a while and he he was like a very much like a dad like he was like i want to show my daughter where i grew up and he was like so determined he was like i want to show luna where i grew up you know the hometown of kingston kingston is like really nice around like the end of april like early may <laughs> is there even anything in kingston hey don't say that ryan was very determined okay Wait, how long is this break? Because I have to plan my uploads around it? Oh, I see. We're just here for your content, aren't we? It's gonna be one week. One week at the, the last week of uh, April. I only get a holiday when Ryan goes on holiday. Bro. There's probably a Tim Hortons. Come on, Chet. Come on, be nice. Kingston can be nice. 
I've been there like two, three times. And I definitely did get a little paranoia, but hey, it can be nice. The two to three times, what's wrong with two to three times? Two to three times, this ain't no bad. That ain't no bad. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Prison town, excuse me. I know there's a prison there, but you shouldn't call it a prison town. That's not nice. There's like three things to do there. Were there three things to do? What are those three things? Don't say go to Subway, go to Starbucks, go to McDonald's, okay? Well, <laughs> not, I'm actually, I don't, I don't know what, what can you do in Kingston, you copy? <laughs> Dude, oh no, this is, please, please delete this. Don't let Ryan see this. I remember like Ryan's mom was like, oh, do you want anything from Starbucks? And here I was thinking like, Starbucks. You know, city folks like us, we don't go like, wow, Starbucks. It's like Starbucks is like, it's like, it's just here. You know what I mean? It's just like in the corner. Like, it's just there, you know. We city, we city folks, we don't go like, ah, Starbucks. But then I was like, oh, sure. You know, I'll take something from the Starbucks. But then like in Kingston, we had to drive to go to Starbucks, which was, uh, which was, uh, experience. Because I would never drive to go to Starbucks. But it was, uh, it was eye-opening. And then Ryan's mom was like, oh, for, like, lunch, do you want a Star, uh, do you want a Subway? And I was like, sure, I can have some Subway. And then we drove to Subway, which, again, was eye-opening. Because, like, I never drive to go to Subway. It's just, Subway is just, like, it's just there everywhere here. And so it's like, oh my god, we're driving to Subway? Like, that was kind of weird. <laughs> and, then, and then Ryan said, oh my god, this is the same Subway that I went to when I was in high school. And then I was like, I was like, what? This Subway was still there when you're in high school? Like, in Vancouver, nothing sticks around that long. You know what I mean? Like, we, like, all the stores, like, comes and goes. Like, rarely there will be a restaurant that's that old. It's the only subway they got cake. <laughs> I don't think it's the only subway they got. And then, you know, uh, I think it was like six years ago, seven years ago, I was like talking to Ryan how I felt so like like an outsider when we went to the mall that like i was i realized that i was the only asian person in the whole mall and it was christmas eve so like everyone in kingston was in the mall basically and so like i was i felt like i felt very weird like people weren't giving me the looks but it felt like people were giving me the looks and i was i felt very paranoia about it um it was like it was very weird to be like literally like sea of white people and one asian person and and i was the asian person and then uh ryan's mom recently said there's like a huge number of chinese population moving to kingston um so she said like you shouldn't feel so like you wouldn't feel like an outsider anymore and i was like oh we'll see <laughs> we'll see oh yeah we were just like we we're just walking down downtown kingston and then like we're, we weren't screaming right we're just we talk really really quietly outside because we are very like private people so like ryan dead ryan's mom ryan and me were just chatting when we weren't walking like we weren't hugging the whole uh the the walkway we were like two by two so that people can walk by us and stuff. And we weren't talking that loud at all, right? We were just like casually talking, just like normal or normal to quiet voice. But then this lady, this crazy Karen comes out of nowhere and just like, oh my gosh, you guys are talking very loud. You should not talk when you're outside. And then, and then she walked away after she said that. And I was like, oh my God, can you imagine if that lady were to move to Vancouver, she would freak out, dude. 
people talking everywhere in Vancouver. I don't know, maybe in Kingston people don't talk outside. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's just the crazy one, but I thought, man, she just literally told a stranger that that they should not talk in the public area. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but I was uh I was like, man, I, I mean, you do get crazy people in Vancouver, like, you know, we got a lot of homeless people here. But then she was not homeless. I think like when someone is homeless and then they do crazy stuff and talk crazy, you're like, ah, you're they're, they're homeless, you know? But then when like normal person talk crazy and like angry at you for no reason, it becomes a shock almost. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, did I actually do something really bad? Like, I feel bad. You know, like if a homeless person said the exactly same thing, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, dude, just, just go, go away. But then it was like, normal looking person was like so offended that we were talking and then you know how we're like i want to get a bigger place um just because our current place is fine but as luna grows up we need a b bigger place for sure so we're kind of like casually chopping around in the um in vancouver and houses are e extremely expensive, as you all know. And then Ryan's mom was like, Kate, you know, you don't, you guys don't have to live in Vancouver. You guys can move to Kingston. Like, you can still stream and do all that in Kingston. And just, just like, look at this. Uh, if you were to spend a million dollars in Vancouver, you get nothing. Maybe a cover box, you know, Pro probably a house with no bathroom. But look at what million dollar can get you in Kingston. And it was like mansion with like water fountain, like picturesque. And then she's like, you know, you can spend like a lot less of money and get a really nice place in Kingston. And she was like showing me all the blueprints and all that. And I was like, this is nice. It makes sense. At the same time, I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> She's not wrong. Your money would get you more in Kingston. You just have to be in Kingston. I know! That's the thing! And I don't know if I could live in Kingston. With among a lot of facts of, you know, being cold and gets a lot of snow and all that. I just, uh... I understand she wants to be close to us, for sure. It would be nice to have her close to us as well. And it's easier to move us to Kingston than... Then them move to Vancouver. That's also for sure. But it's like, I like to travel. Especially I like to travel to Japan. If I were to move to Kingston, going to Japan will take like 20 hours. Whereas in Vancouver, it takes like 8 hours. So that's like a big minus for me. <laughs> I need to be a weeb. It's my identity. I'm, I'm a weeb. I need to be close to Japan. You and Ryan are city folks now. I know, when did Ryan hop onto this wagon? I know I invited Ryan over to the city, city wagon, but then he's like, not only he's, he's riding the wagon, he's like, he's the, he's pulling the wagon. He's like the, pulling the wagon of the city folks. He's, he's like, he's so, like, he's a city snob. He's not a city folk, he's a city snob. And I was like, Sometimes I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I did this to him. I did this to him, Chet. <laughs> it's me, I'm guilty, I did this to Ryan. The pure, innocent, young, little town baby Ryan is now angry city snob. <laughs> oh. Costco changed him? Who knew, right? I mean, like... If he was gonna be this intense about Costco, like, why didn't he get the membership? Like, he doesn't need me to get the membership. He could've just gone by himself and get the membership, like, five years ago, ten years ago. Nobody stopped him. It's just, the store is not me. Right? <laughs> right was like, we went to Costco on Sunday, which was yesterday. But then, like, the parking lot was very, very busy. 
and also like the inside of Costco was very very busy and also none of the things that they were selling in Costco was like interesting to me so like I went through the whole parking lot crazy with the shopping cart crazy to the checkout crazy to get like nothing out of it and Ryan said like after we got back home Ryan was like I knew when we got back and I saw my wife's face I knew there was no way to have her be on the side of Costco and I was like you're right not only there was no chance from the start like there was no chance today but there was no chance from the start like there was no way that I was gonna be a pro Costco I just they ain't got nothing man they ain't got nothing what do they have nothing we used to have one for one year and then it was not good as you can hear I did not like it and then Ryan never fought it back not Ryan never like oh but I want to go to Costco like he never fought back he just kind of like accepted and I thought Ryan also didn't like Costco until a month ago and we got the mem I was like hey now that we have a baby maybe we should have a Costco membership maybe we'll like get a benefit more now that you know like it's not just two people in this household now it's three and then Ryan was like hell yeah and now he's just like he's like uh you know uh we we got him a new glasses from Costco I don't know Costco brand Kirkland made glass frames as well and uh i was like right you should really get the kirkland brand because like you know you got the kirkland glasses kirkland shirt K kirkland underwear kirkland socks kirkland pants like you can really kirkland out and then ryan was very tempted but the kirkland uh frame was not that good so we got something else but still it's uh by god it's uh he's if he can if he can drink Kirkland air, he would he would be freaking sniffing Kirkland air, dude. Crazy. Does he have the Kirkland brand sweater yet? No. Probably it's sold out in Vancouver because it's so popular. The only the only uh Kir Kirkland brand that was wearable was uh socks or something. No, I didn't even have socks. But I know Kirkland have like the underwear, socks, sweater shirts, uh, t-shirts. But all of those weren't there in Vancouver Costco. We gotta go to like uh, USA to get the Kirkland branded sweater goods. And then Ryan was like, he was uh, talking to me how amazing uh, Vancouver Costco is compared to uh, US. And then I was like, no way us kirk us costco is better because they got churros and then ryan was like no they got no french fries they got no poutine it's like it's a huge downgrade and i'm like dude my husband never got a poutine or french fries from from the the food court so what the hell man whereas like me actually getting the churros from costco it was pretty good The poutine at the Costco was divine. Really? <laughs> divine? I don't... Wait, do they have that in Vancouver? I... I don't really, like, I don't really look at the menu and go like, Oh my god, they got poutine! They must have poutine in Vancouver, right? I don't know. Do they? <laughs> I know they got... They got a uh, normal hot dog. And then they got like a weird dog. <laughs> they got a they got a normal hot dog, and they got a like I don't know, it was like a Scottish dog or something. Polish dog. That's right, Polish sausage. That's it. And then Ryan was like, "You you should have seen his face. It's like it was a face of like a man discovering a pot of gold. He was like." Here I was thinking that I was gonna get hot dog and then polish dog and like he's like ho oh, ho how could I say no
and the, the he was so piled up it's like i feel like how why why how could how could a man be so piled up <laughs> it's just a hot dog eh the cost of poutine can only be eaten in two bites before you're full they got a lot of cheese curds or something i i say like i i like their ice cream it's pretty good i ate their hot dog it's okay it's like the buns the buns are pretty moist and i prefer like the toasted you know not the not the moist but it is what it is and then i never tried the pizza but i know it's like humongous and greasy and i don't really like greasy pizza so like that's it's just that honestly that's that's all i have in the costco food court it's not just a hot dog it's a dollar 50 is a way of life i i i get you i understand but like i i get it i get it i get it i get it maybe it's like you know maybe it's like a dude thing i don't know <laughs> i wouldn't like my face wouldn't be a, a person of finding a pot of gold, you know what I mean? I would be like, whoa, that dollar fifty hot dog, nice. But I would be like, oh, dollar fifty hot dog. Like I wouldn't be like that. The pizza varies in quality. Wait, didn't they? Don't they only have pepperoni, pepperoni or cheese? Isn't don't they just have that? I thought they only had cheese or pepperoni, right? Okay, but what about the free samples? I don't like the free samples. They go like free samples on food that is like not interesting. They're like, hey, would you like the free sample orange juice? And I'm just like, I don't, I don't want orange juice taste like. I don't need a free sample of that. Or like, they're like, hey, would you like a free sample of like this uh, trail mix? And I'm like, it's just nuts. You know, like there's never like, a, would you like a sample of like Japanese mochi? Japanese mochi ice cream? pokey some sweets like nothing like that it's some freaking the uh, lame <laughs> boring food <laughs> i'm starting to think kate doesn't respect value i don't think i i i think i i respect value but it's not my number one you know you know what's even crazy you know how ryan is so hopped on the costco pill he even took a look at the gift card section. A gift card section! I didn't know there was a gift card section. Well, actually, I knew about it, but I never even, like, look at the gift card section. But, like, he looked at the gift card section, and he was like, Oh my gosh, like, this is crazy. And I was like, what? They got a gift card? And then he's like, no, like, you can buy four $25 nintendo gift card for the 89 dollar you actually get like free money if you buy gift card here or like like nintendo uh xbox like playstation network and i was like and then he also said like some restaurants and stuff and i was like that's cool but that was honestly that's how i felt like i guess that's cool I don't know, man. I guess there is it, it is free money. You know, it's supposed to be hundred dollar, but you get it for ninety dollar, so you do save ten dollar. But then here I am thinking scratching that gift card in the back of the the thing with the coin that I do not have, and I have to scratch that shit for four of them, and I have to type in like twenty long digit just to buy a single game. You know what I mean? Because the games are like eighty bucks in Canada. So it's like, I'm just like, ah, uh, you know? Not appreciating the free money, what? But then there's also work involved. It's free money, but then there's also work. Like, you know? I get it though, I get it! I said I get it. I said I get it, I respect it, but I don't go like, holy moly, look at this gift card section. Wow, you know? Whale behavior so true. What do you mean? I said I respect it. I didn't say I hate it. I respect it. Scratching a card being a work. You 
scratching a card and typing 20 freaking random digits and four of them that's a work man i hate typing the codes especially without the keyboards streamer mindset oh it's a lose battle i liked i liked uh, i watched the our dish conversation at watanabe's channel on youtube i like the comment section where when you argue in nl's channel nl nl is trying to nl and chat they're both trying to win the argument but in kate's channel both kate and chat are trying to lose as fast as they could and i thought that was really funny that like we weren't both trying to win the argument we we were both trying to lose the argument <laughs> like who can lose faster and i'm like i like that i like that more than the who's who's gonna win the argument you know like uh when you have an argument in ryan's chat it's like you know some attacks goes but then I don't like attacking nobody, so it's like you know, it's like I would rather lose. <laughs> I would rather lose before you. I feel like they're just calling us all losers. Yeah, but if all of us is loser, then who's the real loser? The person who's calling us the loser. Mm hmm. And I also like the comment saying. Plus two on Kate when someone asks, like, oh my gosh, you have a whole room dedicated to store all that dish. And then I say, yeah, it's called kitchen. And I'm like, I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. And they appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Plus two. But I, I, I don't know. I thought I liked that comment that, you know, I, uh, when, when I, what was it? I forgot what we were talking about, but then Ryan said, like, yeah, I bet Chet just has a marinara sauce all over on, on their dinner table. And I was like, oh, that's not nice. But I, forgot, I think maybe it was the related to the dish argument. Pass the bowl dish, maybe, yeah. But then, you know, uh, I, that's, that's what Ryan said. But here, I just say like, hey, not only we have pass the bowl, we got like other bowls. So I think it's like yin and yang, you know what I mean? If we are both yin, then like, you know, we need the yang, and this is the yang, and then Ryan's the yin. Yes, as I walk through the valley where I harvest my grain, I take a look at my wife and realize she's very plain. That's just perfect for an Amish like me. You know we shun fancy things like electricity. I don't remember all the... I, I don't remember the whole thing. I ain't ever punched a tourist even if he deserved it. An Amish with a tood, you know, that's unheard of. But I keep something and something so long that even Ezekiel thinks that my mind is gone. I'm a man with a plan. I'm into discipline. Got the Bible in my hand and a beard. Apparently, I do remember the whole thing.